and it's Rome Masters preview time and that means going through the draw from the first section all the way down to section 8 and give a preliminary prediction of who Sportic believes will win the Rome Masters on the men's side. So first up at the top of the draw you've got Novak Djokovic who will await either a qualifier or Roman Sefulian in the second round a potential rematch of that Monte Carlo second rounder and would expect Djokovic to get through there. Winner of that match would face either Tabilo or the winner of Menchik and Hanfman. Serendulo will face a wild card of Giganti or Zaperi, both Italian, so we'll see what happens there. And Hachanov will face the Kazakh Shevchenko or Fabio Morosian in the second round. Moving down, Ben Shelton in the second section will face either Kotov or Mikkelsen in the second round. Zhang will take on Galan in the first round and the winner will face Manorino. Jordan Thompson will face Monfiz or a qualifier and the winner of that match would take on either Kasper Ruud, Kecmanovic or a qualifier. Zverev will face either Vukic or a qualifier and Shapovalov will take on Daderi and the winner will face the upcoming Argentinian Navoni. Talon Greek Sport will face Arthur Rindeneck or a qualifier and the winner of that match will face Bublik, Nune Borges or Pedro Martinez. Martinez. <laughs> Dan Evans will face Fabio Fanini in the first round. Winner will take on Taylor Fritz. And on the other side, we have Koboli, the player who lost to Nadal in Barcelona, will face a qualifier. And the winner of that match will take on Sebastian Corda. Morsetti, in his home country tournament, will face either Eubanks or a qualifier. Dimitrov will take on Nishioka or Ofna in the second round. Tsitsipas will take on Struff or Chachin. And Hijikata will take on Muna and the winner of that match will take on Nori. Felix Alja Alisame will take on Sam Marinka after making the final of Madrid last week. Marinka will be facing a qualifier. Meanwhile, Cabayas Baena will be taking on Christopher O'Connell and the winner will take on Dimino. Humbert will be taking on Napolitano or Berrettini and Nicholas Jari will be taking on either Thomas Mahach or Matteo Arnaldi. Arthur Fields will be taking on Fuskovic or a qualifier and the Madrid Open champion will be facing either Emil Rusevori or Marcus Duran. Moving into section 7 now. Hubert Hercatch will be taking on the upcoming youngster, Rafael Nadal or a qualifier. Echeverry will be taking on a qualifier or Seboff Wild. Sebastian Bayers will be taking on Dushan Lajevic or Lorenzo Sanigo. And Daniel Altmaier will be taking Lucanati for a chance to face Holger Rune in the second round. And in the final section now, we have Tommy Paul will play either Mackenzie McDonald or Aslan Karatsev. Dominic Kopfer will take on Bavasori and the winner will play Francis Tiafo. David Fikina will take on either Poprin or a qualifier and Medvedev will take on either Jack Draper or Chorich. So moving back to section one, looking at that section, I do see uh, Djokovic and Hachanov fourth round in which will be a good test because Hachanov's been playing pretty decently as of late, but I do see if Djokovic is playing even up to the level of Monte Carlo, he should be able to get to the quarterfinals in that section. In this section, likely we will see Kasper Ruud in the quarterfinals. I expected a bit more from Ben Shelton in Madrid, actually he predicted him to make the final is a bit of a dark horse that didn't eventuate but we'll see what he can do in Rome in a potential matchup there I would see Djokovic taking out Kasper Ruud and getting his revenge from Monte Carlo Zvedev you have to pick him to make the fourth round Rome rarely has upsets but on the bottom I see Nuno Borges making the fourth round I think it's time for him to have a bit of a better Masters tournament following that Australian Open success and not being able to really back it up all too much since moving down so I would have Zvedev facing in my opinion more Mussetti. I do see Mussetti playing well given he's probably the favorite of the Italians considering Sinner has pulled out. I do see a bit of an upset here. Perhaps Mussetti, perhaps Corda. I don't think Fritz is going to go all too far in this tournament. Dimitrov is always a chance but I see a very good matchup between Mussetti and Dimitrov and the winner in my opinion will take on Zvedev. The bottom half, Tsitsipas and Dimonor. I do have those two players playing each other in the fourth round. If Alja Alisame can prove he wasn't lucky last week, perhaps he can face Tsitsipas but I do have those two Two players playing in the fourth round and I have Tsitsipas going to the quarterfinals. Not a lot of upsets from me today and that won't change. I see Rublev and Jari making the fourth round and if Rublev has recovered from that stress of Madrid and that hospitalization, I see him making the quarterfinals to face Tsitsipas. Hercatch and Rune 
soon. I see the youngster, Rafael Nadal, making it to the fourth round, but I do see him falling over to the youngster, Holger Runa. That'll be a great run for the upcoming player, Rafael Nadal, who has a protected ranking of nine. And down here, Daniil Medvedev as a defending champion. <laughs> it's a bit interesting, isn't it? You wouldn't think he would be a defending champion of a Masters 1000 play tournament, but he has no reason why he wouldn't reach the quarterfinals here, in which he would face Holger Runa. And I back Medvedev too. Beat Runa in a rematch of the final last year and make the semifinals. I do see him falling apart against either Rublev or Tsitsipas in the final. So let's just say Tsitsipas makes a final. I see him facing Zvedev. I think Zvedev will outlast Djokovic in a Rome Masters tournament and Djokovic will be looking to peak in Roland Garros. So as Zvedev and I said Tsitsipas final, I'm going to back Zvedev to win a tournament here. I think it's time for him to win a big title this year. He's been playing well in spurts, but not being able to finish off the job when it matters. But I reckon I back him here going into Roland Garros with some form. That's the way to go, I believe. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think? How far will Djokovic and Nadal go? Can Zvedev win? As I said, is that a good prediction? I don't know. Until next time.